After five years of review, including scores of hearings and exhaustive studies, Governor Gregoire asked the Washington Energy Facility Site Evaluation Council, EFSEC, to go back and re-examine the Kittitas Valley Wind Power Project. She asked whether additional setbacks are achievable while allowing the project to remain economically viable. The answer is simple. No. It is unacceptable in both economic and environmental terms to eliminate even one more turbine from the project. Horizon Wind Energy has already altered its original wind farm plans to satisfy NIMBY opponents. A preoccupation with visual impact cannot trump our commitment to combating climate change, curbing carbon dioxide emissions, and developing clean sources of energy. Each turbine in Horizon's proposed project will generate enough electricity to power 900 homes and offset more than 5,000 tons of CO2 every year. The setback required by FSEC, four times turbine height, or 1,640 feet, already eliminated 10 turbines from the project. To expand the setback to 2,500 feet, the distance demanded by the Kittitas County Board of Commissioners would eliminate 40% of the project. That's a loss of 75 megawatts of generating capacity, or power for 22,500 homes a year. The Commissioner's position is unfounded, stemming from subjective aesthetic opinions, not scientifically documented criteria. FSEC has done its job. It's time to allow Horizon Energy to do theirs. It's time to build the wind farm. Governor Gregoire, we passed Initiative 937 to jumpstart renewable energy. You signed your executive order to combat climate change. The state legislature passed Senate Bill 6001 to cap CO2 emissions. Now is not the time to further shrink a wind farm that your super agency overwhelmingly endorsed. Windy places are few and far between. If we are going to meet our statewide energy goals, we must build wind projects where they are shown to be environmentally sound. We must harness the full potential of the Kittitas Valley. The Seattle Times got it right. This is not a time to be appeasing people irritated about a view they don't own. The look of wind farms is a reason not to want them. It is no reason to stop them.